What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to talk about all the DLC rumors that are out there because some of them are really, really good in my opinion. Now I'm not going to talk about them all, so if you have any uh, ideas or, or things that you've heard uh, that I do not mention, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. But the first thing that a lot of people want is story DLC, whether it revolves Arthur, the gang, certain gang members, it doesn't matter. A lot of people want story DLC. A lot of people do not like Red Dead Online, so they're looking for something to play just solo and hopefully Rockstar is listening. And one thing that I thought was interesting that was talked about last week was from take Two CEO. He mentioned he wanted to make Red Dead games. He wants to make GTA games more often. Now I can't remember the time frame between Red Dead Revolver and Red Dead Redemption 1. It's been too long without me looking it up. But I do remember Red Dead Redemption 1 to Red Dead Redemption 2 is like a six to seven year time frame. So the one thing of course that he did talk about that would kind of suffer in game would be the length of story. He said if they make games more often, the story is not going to be 60 plus hours. They would have to kind of go through this game's life cycle and add story DLC to that. So that makes me wonder if they already are thinking about making another Red Dead Redemption, are they going to give a story DLC revolving Arthur, revolving the gang members? Because that could be the next game's plan. Who knows? But if it is not, I still really think that a lot of people would enjoy some different ideas within the gang members or Arthur himself to kind of give us a, a, a story DLC kind of continuing either after kind of the end of the story now or either before the story started. And there's a lot of people that have found things in game kind of hints that Arthur should have been in Blackwater or the gang should have been in Blackwater just from like sayings or, or you know talking to different NPCs within the game. People think that there should be something tied into that because they, a lot of them mention things around Blackwater. So maybe they're going to do something uh, with the gang that it involves them being in Blackwater maybe before the story happened. Who knows? But I did find it inter interesting, like I said, that the Take-Two CEO was talking about making games more often, so that makes me wonder, will the next Red Dead game involve these characters or will it be something totally different? So that kind of leaves a, a lot of speculation for what story DLC they could do now. Of course, the one most popular, I guess, opinion of any DLC rumor is everyone wants Undead Nightmare 2. Of course, Undead Nightmare was a very unexpected thing in Red Dead Redemption 1 and probably, uh, in my opinion, one of the more popular DLCs in any game ever because a lot of people really want this to happen again. And of course, it was a neat idea to be fighting zombies and the whole little story they tied into it was very cool. And yes, I would love to see that again myself. I'm not sure if they're going to give us that. Uh, nobody really knows. I think they have definitely probably thought about it, in my opinion. There's a lot of things they could kind of tie into that as well if they didn't want to go with just zombies. Of course, there's the hints and talks, you know, of all the things revolving the uh, kind of revolving around the vampires in game. Some people have mentioned anything just kind of supernatural. Some people have talked about aliens. I mean, all, none of these are more uh, kind of crazier than the other. I mean, zombies, aliens, supernatural, vampires kind of all ties into that supernatural idea. And I think you could go a lot of ways with any of these. And those are probably the most interesting in my opinion. I mean, aliens would be really cool. You can even look back in, in history books now and people saw things in the skies. Who knows what they were in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And, you know, people said that was aliens. Well, you could tie something into the game like that. You could go with supernatural stuff. You could go with the vampires. You could go with zombies once again. I mean, anything that revolving kind of around story DLC with that would be a lot of fun as well, in my opinion. I think those ideas are really, really cool, and I would like to see some of those come to, to come to the game. Who knows if they will. And last but not least, a lot of people want things for Red Dead Online that are not there yet. Of course, we know at some point this summer, and hopefully it's going to be within the next week or so, we are going to get the class roles to kind of start the role play idea like there is in, in, in GTA. And of course, you know, we have the collector, the, you know, the bounty hunter, all that kind of stuff. And I would think if those are popular enough, but a lot of people still want businesses. A lot of people want to own their own house because a lot of these things were kind of discussed, especially the housing was discussed back before the game was released. And we really have not heard anything else about that. I don't want this game to be out for years and years before they really start bringing a lot of stuff to it. I kind of, that's one reason I kind of hope the idea of them um, bringing uh, more games out more often will kind of speed up the process of how fast we get things within this game as long as it's good quality content. Anyway, guys, leave me your thoughts. Let me know some of the ideas that you have or some of the ideas that you have heard. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.